Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is part two of a week in my life and if you haven't watched part one feel free to go ahead and watch that one after you're done with this one. Um, I will be sure and link it below for you. So here is again just a peek of a few things that we did in last week's video, Monday and Tuesday. And we did a lot of baking, so if that's something that you enjoy watching, you will enjoy that video. Um, different things that we baked, some bread, some cakes, and things like that. And today we're going to finish that cake. But to start off with, I had lunch for the school. We take turns um, preparing lunches once a week for the school children. And on this week, it was my turn. So we are trying to keep it very simple um, with the busy week that I'm having. I picked up some like barbecue. So we're gonna have barbecue sandwiches and I'm just putting out some cheese on a plate couple different kinds of cheese to put on top of the sandwiches and then we're going to get all of the condiments together um, we're also having just some fries that I'm going to bake um, and then we'll have a dessert as well and for dessert is also super simple um, I'm going to just um, bake some like the little waffles and then we're going to put some peanut butter on those put some ice cream on top and finish it off with either some chocolate or caramel syrup you have got to try it it is so good um, I wasn't quite sure about it the first time I heard about it but it is really good so here we're just getting all of our toppings um, we can't forget about making some sweet tea to drink we're just going to get everything together and take it up to the school Now here it is after I'm back. Um, I was going to totally, yeah, get some clips of serving and things, but honestly I was too busy serving, making sure everything was out. Um, I totally forgot about it. But anyways, the lunch went really well. Um, I think the children liked the barbecue sandwiches and as well as the fries and the ice cream dessert was really good as well. So now we're just putting all the leftovers away, um, lots of cheese left over, and just all the condiments, the things that need to be put away. I'm going to go ahead and just try to get everything put away right away um, and get this kitchen cleaned up. I left this kitchen in quite a wreck, um, so yeah, it's time to get everything put away. And in case anyone is wondering, our school did let out about a month ago now for summer break. Um, so obviously this was filmed before school let out. I think it was the last week of school when I served lunch. So we'll have summer break until um, towards the end of August. And we do have our own private school, just a small school. Um, so it makes it nice that we can, as ladies, you know, take a lunch in once a week so they don't have to pack their lunches. They get a nice hot lunch. And once we have everything put away, I wanted to just go ahead and get everything, all the dirty dishes put into the dishwasher, get the counters cleared off. And yeah, it seems like if the counters are cleared off, my mind is kind of cleared as well. Somehow it kind of works together for me anyways. And the leftover of these waffles and the fries as well. I'm just going to, um, the waffles I'll put in the freezer for later, the fries I'll just put in the fridge, and I'm sure the kids will eat them later.
after I was done folding that load of towels, um, I had gotten some other pumps for these little syrups. Totally not really necessary, but gold is just not really my color. So I got some black ones to replace these. So I decided to just go ahead and change these. I also didn't have enough pumps um, for the amount of syrups that I had. And so I got a bigger uh, count of black pumps. So I went ahead and put those on and I like it a lot better. Now once the dishwasher had finished washing, um, I decided to just go ahead and get all those dishes out right away, put everything away again, because I knew I would have more dishes later on, so we're just going to do that right away. And another thing that needed to be done, I wanted to get some more cold brew coffee going. I had used the last of it. So this is so simple to do. Just fill that center uh, cylinder thing up with your ground coffee, whatever you want, and then just run the water through it until it's full. And then I put mine in the refrigerator for eight to 12 hours, something like that, to let it brew. And then you just pull that center cylinder out and you're good to go. Now moving on to getting some food preparations for our guests. Um, if you watched the last video, I said we're having some guests for the weekend. So I am just browning some sausage right now and I wanted to put, a, put together a breakfast casserole. That way if we have guests and things, um, there's a breakfast ready to go for Saturday morning. All I have to do is just pop it in the oven. This recipe is so easy. You've probably seen me make it before if you've been here on my channel um, any length of time, but I will have this recipe linked below for you. It is very simple to make, but it is really good um, for a good hearty breakfast you know, in the mornings. And I usually make two of them. If I'm making one, I'll just double it and put one in the freezer for later. And then I'll keep the uh, red pan out for our guests for Saturday morning. Of course, don't forget to label the pan that you put in the freezer so you don't forget what is in it. Um, and yeah, put a date on it when you put it in there and it should be good to go. All right, and then moving on to this cake. This is on uh, Thursday now. So I am just layering this up. This will be quite a tall cake. Um, so there will be uh, four layers of cake here on the bottom and then there will be um, a couple extra on top as well. And as I said, this is a graduation cake for our school. Um, the, we had four graduates this year, so this is for, for them. And their colors this year were blue. They were wearing blue for graduation. So I uh, tried to match their color as best I could. So we have the crumb cake on. I'm just measuring everything to make sure everything is straight. Um, once that was um, in the refrigerator for a little bit, I am going to go ahead and put in some dowels. Um, and yeah, just make sure the top layer stays where it's supposed to and doesn't sink down into the bottom layer. All right, so this bottom cake layer will be um, these rosettes. I'm just going to go around and put these on. Um, I put it on this cake pan and so yeah we're just going to go around and get this thing covered up in this blue frosting in rosettes.
And then I also had some modeling chocolate here that I'm going to make a couple um, cake topper decorations. We're going to do um, a little graduation diploma thing as well as a graduation cap. The cap will be made out of paper. Um, I tried to do it out of modeling chocolate, but I didn't have enough time to get it, you know, to harden up where it would stay. So I just made it out of paper. And I think it turned out really cute. So after that was done and I took it up to the school, now we have another mess here in the kitchen to clean up. Um, I love cake decorating and things, but it always does leave quite a mess um, with all the frosting, the sticky, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up.
And the last thing that I wanted to do out here in the kitchen is just give it a good mop. Now this is just a quick mop, basically just kind of going over, you know, the high traffic areas, kind of, yeah, getting in where I can. But it was just kind of this main area that was really bothering me, um, just needed to be cleaned up. So we're going to give it a quick mop with my um, O cedar mop and call it good. And my plants over here needed some water. Um, I'm trying to remember a little bit better to <laughs> keep these watered, but um, yeah, so often I kind of forget about them. And then I decided to just go ahead and vacuum in the living room here. And then I wanted to start um, in here in this guest bedroom, yeah, cleaning it up, getting everything ready for our guests. Um, first of all, we just need to clean it up first and yeah, get the floors cleaned and everything and then we can start with the bed. And as you know, this is Jameson's bedroom um, that we recently redone to kind of make it into his bedroom but also make it into the guest bedroom so we can just quickly change out the beds, the bedding and things, and then it's ready for guests. And another thing that needs to be done before we get guests especially is just cleaning the bathroom, making sure this is nice and clean. This is the bathroom that the guests will be using. So obviously um, I want everything nice and clean for them. So I just quickly went over the bathroom making sure everything was good to go. Everything, you know, the towels and washcloths and things were easily accessible and ready to grab for them and just making sure everything was wiped down and cleaned.
And that is where I'm going to leave you today. I hope you enjoyed part two of kind of a part of a week in my life. Um, the rest of the week was kind of crazy with visitors and things there, so I didn't film while they were there. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!